guys and welcome to the second of four of the videos. Um, this video is the cook vegetables which I'm going to show you just now. Um, here you can see I've got all the vegetables set up ready to um, start. So this is what you would have uh, ready whenever I come in to this area. So this is what you would have uh, ready whenever I come in to assess you, whenever you've been put up for assessment and you feel ready and comfortable um, and to do it. So um, here we've got some nice fresh broccoli and which I've checked for quality, which is one of the things that I'll be assessing you on. Okay, so you need to make sure that you've checked all the um, ingredients and all the products that they are of good quality okay so you check them uh, first before you actually use them uh, and then if they are not of the quality you would then um, be reported to your supervisor or the head chef um, in charge of the kitchen and they would then contact the supplier okay so that's what you would do so just remember that you're the, the trainee so you wouldn't phone up the supplier yourself you would report it to your supervisor um, so that they could check and maybe it could be a one-off or maybe it's an, uh, occurring all the time so they would check that out okay so you check all that check your potatoes and uh, make sure good quality as well the carrots you could have them prepped up and ready so you and the crucial thing about uh, the carrots and the potatoes and things is making sure they're nice and clean making sure all the soils away and also that they're they're washed and prepared ready okay so that's one of the things you need to make sure that there's no bacteria um, within the dirt and things like that that can contaminate the, the stuff that you're using okay so you do all that make sure you check all the the, the quality and things like that the mushrooms um, I've already washed them and patted them dry normally in the restaurant if I was using mushrooms I would use a little mushroom brush that I just brush down the mushrooms because you don't want to mushrooms are about 90% water so you don't want to add more water to them because it it um, they absorb the water and become quite soft and slimy okay so you use normally what you would use is uh, a mushroom brush but for use um, because you're going to use a mushroom straight away and um, you just give them a rinse on the top in a strainer clean all the dirt off pat them dry with a nice tissue and you can see here that uh, you know the ones that have got kind of dirt on them and things like that. So you don't want that, okay? So it's not the bacteria and things like that that's in there, okay? So another crucial thing that you need to do is before you start cooking is to make sure that your hands are washed, okay? So every time you come into the kitchen, um, make sure your hands are washed in between tasks. Make sure your hands are washed, and you'll have been trained up. On, on that and also in your induction and things like that so you know how to do all that so one of the first things you're going to do is the mushrooms okay so we're going to saute off the mushrooms and then we're going to present them on a little plate and then we're going to take a photograph of you with your uh, cooked vegetables just to use as a little bit of evidence and as for the um, prepared vegetables you follow this little checklist okay and then if you just follow that you can have this printed off practice it a few times get trained up in all the different techniques and um, you know the claw the chopping things like that uh, which you'll be trained up and then you come to the assessment and then again what I'll do is tick all the little boxes off I'll sign it a representative from the, the kitchen will sign it and then I'll sign it just to make sure that uh, I observed you doing this and this acts like a prep sheet as well and a, and a kind of plan of your work okay so we'll just start and I've got my nice green chopping board which I've secured I've got my cook's knife I've got my non-stick pan ready so what I'm going to do is get my mushrooms and then what we're going to do is we're going to slice them okay so whenever you slice them you can either use the claw and this or you can use the tap okay so the tap is like that and then you just tap the mushrooms like so, okay? Or you can use the, but as you get more experienced and get used to using a knife and get more confident, you can use the tap. When you see me doing the, the kind of tap technique, I never bring the knife up here. I just have it up 
to there. I've still got my finger tucked in, and then I just slice like so. Okay, so we'll just quickly do the rest. Like that. And just get them all chopped. So real nice and clean. Nice and fresh. I've checked them for blemishes. I've made sure the quality is good. Sometimes we get mushrooms, you know, some of the, the box, they could be a wee bit of dampness in them and they get a bit of mould and things. So I'm going to put them back in there now that I've got them all nicely prepped up. Okay, like this. Like that. Okay, so we've got them all ready to go. So I'll set them there so they're nicely sliced. Uh, and then I'll, what we'll do is clean my hands actually. So give my hands a little wash, make sure they're nice and clean. And then what we're going to do is put the baked potato in the oven. So I've got my baked potato here. So the outside of it's been nicely cleaned. Okay, so some places what they have is a little uh, potato brush. It looks like a bit like a nail brush and they just clean it up and make sure it's nice and clean, okay? So then what you're going to do is put, cut into the potato about a third of the way down and make a cross on the top like that. Then what I've got here is some uh, tin foil, which I've reused. Okay, so if you fold it carefully when you're baking your potatoes, then you can reuse it. A lot of people, what they do is scrunch it around and then you, you can't can't reuse the, the tin foil. So you've got the shiny side up, put it in and then just season it. Okay, so we'll season it with some salt and a little bit of black pepper, just to make sure it's nicely seasoned. And then we just fold it over, fold it over, neatly fold it over, like so. And then we'll put this on our tray in the oven around about 180 degrees. Um, takes around about uh, an hour, depends on your oven. Um, if you've got a super duper uh, fan assisted uh, oven, it might take slightly longer. So you get to know your own oven and know whenever it's ready. And it also depends on the size of the potato as well. If it's quite big, it take a wee bit longer to cook. Smaller will not take as long, so you need to keep checking it. Okay, and keep. And what you do is just kind of gently squeeze it to see if it's cooked. Okay, Ian, remember it's quite hot coming out of the oven, so you need to make sure you've got a nice oven cloth, health and safety. You don't want to get burnt. Okay, so we'll just pop this in the oven. So, so that's in the oven. And what I have is one that I prepared earlier. So I'll take it out. Just close off the, the door. So here I have one that I've already cooked, okay? Just to save a bit of time with the, the video. So you can see, just open it up and it's quite hot. So you can see it's quite really, really warm. So I'm gonna get a nice presentation plate over here. And just place it right here. So what some places do as well is they, they kind of serve it in the in the foil. But what you do is squeeze the sides, squeeze the bottom, and then just present it on the plate. So you can see the steam coming out, it's quite nice. Maybe a wee bit of butter on the top. And I'm not sure how you're going to serve it. You can serve it with coleslaw. Some people put a wee bit of bolognese sauce over the top, a bit of cheese, a bit of salad, things like that. Okay, so that's the potato I've done. So we've got that on our presentation plate. So it's not a very good potato that I've got here, so it uh, should be fine though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute off the mushrooms next. And uh, just light up my gas. Go. And then I'm gonna put in a little knob of butter. And what you can do is maybe sometimes put a wee bit of uh, oil in there too, and it stops the butter from burning too much, okay? So we're just gonna melt that and push that around the pan. So, I mean, obviously you're not gonna go as quick as this, especially when you're doing an assessment, okay? So just take your time, you'll be fine. I'm kind of speeding up a wee bit because I am um, just making a video, a short video. So um, you can take your time. You can also stop the video at certain places and uh, just to remind yourself, okay? 
So we've got our butter nicely melting as you can see. You can see that's all nice melting. And then what I'm going to do is just season the pan. Not too much, just a little bit of seasoning, a wee bit of pepper, like so not too much. You don't want the butter to start browning, okay, so that's just quite nicely ready. Just starting to bubble, and then what I'll do is place my mushrooms in, okay, like so. So I'll keep my bench nice and tidy, keep everything nice and clean and neat, yep, so I've got that there. Make sure my board's nice and clean, and I'm keeping everything clean. Okay, so you can hear my pota my potatoes, my mushrooms starting to cook. Uh, so they're cooking away. Like that. Yeah. So once you get a wee bit more experience, you'll be able to do this. Uh, flip the the mushrooms rather than trying to turn each each one over singly and just kind of flip them like that and as you get more used to the kitchen you'll be you'll start to get more bit more confident uh, that you're not going to fling the mushrooms all over the all over the bench so we've got them cooking away nicely and then what we'll do is uh, I'll just show you the peppers so on the instructions it says diamond shapes okay so it's just a rough diamond shape it doesn't have to be absolutely exact um, cut off the top trim down the sides take the stock off like that keep this so we're just going to trim right down right around the outside of the seeds a lot of chefs have got different ways of doing this um, some people what they do is the cut this bit out and then pull the seeds out. Personally I just do it this way. Um, uh, take out the little white stalk here. Let's take that off. Like so put that on our tray. So you can see I'm keeping everything nice and neat. And you can hear the, the mushrooms cooking away nicely here. They're just starting to brown slightly as you can see. So there's a nice colour coming on them. Yep, they're not white and anemic, uh, just a nice colour. And they'll look fantastic on the on the plate. I'm just cooking them all. Just one or two that's not cooked. Just separate them up. That's it. Perfect. So I've got my peppers ready. Take off the white, like so. Put them over here. And then what we're going to do is just cut it in half. Diamond shape, diamond shape, okay. Doesn't have to be exact, just like that. Nice and big so that when you roast it, um, it doesn't shrivel away uh, to nothing and it keeps a good good size, okay? So this is nice when you're serving it with salads and things like that. So we'll just cut that up, cut that, cut it over. Like so let's quickly do these. So I'll take my mushrooms off. So you can see they're just a beautiful colour. Yep. I don't know if you can see that through the steam, but they look fantastic. And I'll just turn my gas off, and then we'll arrange them on the plate, nice and neat. Leave my potato here, and then just put them on the on the plate just there. So that looks fun, dabby dozy, fantastic. So put that on there, and I'll put this over. We don't need this, um, so we'll just put it over here. To get cleaned and then what we'll do is bring this pot and um, obviously on your your cougars have they've got more rings I've just got the one so you would have this uh, kind of simmering in the back making sure it's nice and ready to blanch off your broccoli and also to cook your carrots the carrots if we can get this to light Don't forget, carrots grow underneath the ground, so anything that's underneath the ground, you put into a cool pot and bring them to the boil. Things like the broccoli that grow above the ground, they go into hot water, okay? So they're like photogenic, and without going into the, too much of the science, but uh, what's whatever's in the, the broccoli reacts to the heat, 
and it keeps it nice and green okay so you don't need to know all the all that kind of science bit of it you just need to know that the vegetables that grow above the ground go into boiling water carrots and things like that, that go grow underneath the ground go into cold water and you bring them to the boil okay so we've got that we've got our peppers let's turn that water down a wee bit Right. And we've got our peppers, so they're nice and big, not too small. And they're not exact, okay? They're only enough for the same size, but um, you don't need to measure them and things like that. So we just cut them like that, so they're nice and rough. The reason why I say a diamond shape, it keeps them a nice kind of, for presentation, you know, it keeps them a nice, a nice shape, so that's what we want. So we've got our peppers sitting here, like that. And then what I'll do is I'll just get a pot of water on and I'll use the, the cooker at the side. So I've got that ready to go. And here we have our tray for our peppers. So I'm just going to sprinkle them onto the tray. Like that. And what you can do is um, Use a wee bit of balsamic on them sometimes, that's what I do. I use a bit of balsamic, gives them a wee bit of flavour. Uh, put salt and pepper on them, and then a little drop of oil. And then we'll just pop these in the, in the oven. So I'll just get some oil, and then I'll just put that on the top, and roast these off. Pop these in the oven. So they're in cooking away. So I've got my pot on for my broccoli. I'm going to put my carrots into some cold water, which has already been seasoned. So this is not hot. Okay, so I can set this here. Uh, and these are cold, so you can see I've already prepped them up into batons. Yep, so season the water and a little bit of pepper, make sure it's all nicely seasoned up, and then we'll just bring this to the boil. That's all cooking away, so it's getting a bit smoky in here. So we've got our broccoli, and then what I'm going to do is just take the stalks off, like so. And you want them a nice, nice shape. Uh, yes. We've got a stalk. What you can do is make soup with that. Um, Put it in along with your cauliflower leaves, you know the green leaves and the cauliflower, make a nice soup. Got that, so we'll pop our broccoli in into the nice boiling seasoned water and get that all in there. So that's nice. So we've we'll, got that in there cooking away. Sounds great. So I've got my Peppers in the oven, seasoned up. I've got my baked potato in the oven, which I've took out and prepped up already. I've got my carrots on the cooker, cooking from cold water. My broccoli on here. And then what I've got in here is some peas. So what I need to see you doing is defrosting peas in a strainer under cold water into a little container, a bit of butter, season it up. Down. And then you might have a little tub that you use. Just watch that the when you put it in the microwave, it doesn't pop off. Okay, so we're just going to cover that up like that. And then I'm just going to put it into my microwave over here, and then just microwave it. I've got that. Thirty seconds in the microwave. In here.
and we'll just let that cook away in the microwave. And my broccoli is just cooking nicely. So obviously in your own microwave you'll have your timings all set. Um, you know, button number one for peas, button number two for you know other products. Um, so that's it ready. It's not quite warm enough, so I'll put it again. Um, I'm just waiting for the the butter to melt around the peas. And then what you can do is check the temperature. Temperature is not crucial with veg, but you need to make sure it's hot enough for the customer to eat. Um, the crucial thing about veg is making sure that you wash it, you take all the outside soil off it, make sure it's stored properly, make sure you check for blemishes, things like that. So the broccoli is just cooking nicely. And then what I'll do is I'll take it over to my sink and um, refresh it. So it's called blanch and refresh. Okay, so you're blanching it in the hot water and then you're refreshing it in cold water, which stops the um, stops the cooking process and keeps it nice and green. Okay, so we've got our peas ready. So you can see that it's pulled the cling film in. We'll just leave these in the in the tray. So you can see they're nice and hot. We'll just put them in that plate. Like so, so I've got my broccoli. I'll take them off and strain them. And what we'll do is blanch and refresh it in nice cold water. Take that off and then just blanch it, refresh. Let's get a bit of cold water around that. I've done that, there's still a wee bit of steam coming off the pot, um, but I have put that into nice iced water. Okay, so nice ice cool water, and then we'll just present that on the plate, like so. So you can see it's nice and vibrant green. Uh, and then we just present that on the plate, make sure it's nice. Nicely presented. So you've got it all in nice green on the outside. I've got some extra bits I'll just put over here. So what I'm doing is presenting it all ready for the evidence photograph. I've got that there. So the next thing what we're going to do is the grilled tomatoes. So again we just get the tomatoes. We cut them in half. Uh, so you're making sure that you're cutting them through the middle so the cork goes to the bottom and then you're cutting them in half that way okay diagonal so you don't want to cut them this way because for presentation it just still cooks but just for presentation you want to cut it this way so we've got that ready like that and then what we'll do is uh, get the same tray I put the peppers on You see my peppers are cooking nicely, so what I'm going to do is just set these under the grill with my tomatoes. Again, what you want to do is make sure you season them. A few bit of salt and pepper, not too much. And then we'll just pop these under the grill and let them cook away. So my carrots have came to the boil and they've kind of cooked um, until they are al dente, which means with a little bit of bite in the middle. Okay, so I'll just take this strainer and use that. Turn the gas off. So I've got my nice carrots all nicely cooked. Put the cloth down, and then we can just arrange them on the plate. That we get all chefy. I will arrange them. Make sure they're nicely presented especially for your evidence photograph, okay, so just present them nicely on the plate like that, like this. Okay. So that's that. 
and then make sure we got a bench nice and clean and tidy like so and that is that ready so what we need to do now is uh, present our peppers on there and our uh, tomatoes and what I'll do is I'll just grill them off and I shall put a full graph up of how they look and that's basically it so remember just uh, take your time same as uh, you prepare vegetables make sure you train up use all the proper techniques and things like that and uh, and just um, relax it'll be fine okay